I'm Takeshi Kowada from ISAS JAXA. I'm now working for the uh, speaker uh, meter instrument, and uh, I worked uh, I, I worked for uh, Kari and uh, Kari IRC and uh, NAP uh, survey uh, ten years ago. And uh, today I will uh, talk about the um, uh, the result from the uh, the spicy uh, the slitless. Uh, spectroscopic server gaps or something uh, made by, uh, done by Kari uh, ROC spectroscopic mode. And uh, uh, Fund, uh, this is most of, uh, from OEM Fund's work. And uh, uh, finally, uh, we have published our, uh, our, our, our data uh, ten, 10 years after the observation. So I will introduce uh, our result. And uh, I recently uh, uh, make a comparison with the PIT luminosity uh, and the uh, fine plate uh, luminosity uh, taken by the uh, Herschel uh, data. So, so first uh, we will uh, talk about the, 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 the why uh, the, um, the PIT uh, meter plate spectrum is important for the galaxy pollution. And uh, I briefly, I will skip uh, the, the, the how uh, the, 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 because uh, the other, you, you know uh, what is this? And uh, I will talk about the uh, uh, our spectroscopic sample galaxies, and uh, I will briefly talk about the uh, the, gal uh, uh, the galaxy defined, uh, which have uh, uh, luminous in the pH uh, uh, emissions, and uh, finally I will talk about the, the relationship between the uh, fine point and the uh, pH ratio. And uh, if you have uh, time. I will talk about some samples. So this is a, a typical CD of the uh, rolled uh, AGN and uh, star uh, star formation uh, galaxies. And uh, you know that the, there is lots of the fine structure lines in the uh, galaxy, so uh, we can uh, use these lines for to uh, make a, a diagnostic for the, the physical uh, uh, condition of the hidden uh, AGN and uh, uh, star formation. Uh, the math is uh, the specialist. Please ask how to we how we do we use these lines, and uh, there is also a strong uh, shaky absorption uh, in this in this membrane. So uh, we can um, use these features for uh, to investigate the rare uh, AGM and the star formation. But uh, uh, today so I uh, uh, concentrate on the, these uh, PAH emissions. So. Why pH uh, emission is important? So this is a, um, an indication of the uh, red shift. It's a, a, a feature, so uh, we can uh, determine the red shift as spectroscopically. And uh, the pH is also known as uh, the uh, indicator of the star formation and the HM activities. And the uh, important point is that the, that the pH emission is more luminous than the other uh, dark lines. So, uh, we can go to uh, high Z, or we can go to down to uh, low luminosity galaxies. And uh, the pH uh, feature is some broad feature, so that matches the low resolution spectroscopy. So that means that the, uh, uh, we can make, uh, uh, we, can, we can design our instrument with a wide field of view, with a limited number of detector pixels. Because uh, you, some of uh, you know <coughs> this, uh, the price of the infrared uh, for coupling are extremely high, <coughs> so uh, that is a very important point. So, uh, using, uh, uh, watching, uh, using the PIG, uh, we can make a, a faster, uh, a fast uh, service which can be obtained. Uh, of course, uh, that, uh, we need uh, the follow-up uh, spectroscopy for our accurate measurement of physical condition, but uh, uh, only for uh, the PHE, uh, we can uh, get a lot of information. So, what are Kari uh, Vegas for the, the PHE uh, studies? Uh, we, all, we, we know, you know that we have already uh, like a, a deep and wide survey in the meter for wavelengths with Kari, but uh, uh, together with that, uh, we have also conducted the slitless spectroscopic survey of gaps, spicy. It's a, 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 a sweet rest, uh, unbiased uh, spectroscope survey <coughs> in uh, wavelengths of 2 to 24. And the uh, spectral resolution is uh, somehow low, but uh, have uh, around 50 
and uh, we make observation uh, ten portion uh, of uh, so, sorry uh, ten ten, ten administrative field of view in the uh, NAPD and the wide area, and we put uh, ten pointed observation. That means that's the uh, ten hundred uh, sorry a hundred uh, minute uh, field of view. And uh, we uh, extract the uh, the spectrum uh, the, to the, to those objects which have uh, uh, which is greater than the zero point three Miljansky at nine mile. So that is the uh, unbiased uh, uh, flux limited uh, spectroscope sample. So so most of people use the photometric uh, match and the data, but uh, we obtain uh, the use the, uh, the spectroscopic mode of ROC and uh, this paper uh, we concentrated on this uh, mid-reference part so you know that the uh, IRC has a capability of imaging but uh, we, if we change to the, the prism or prism mode uh, we uh, obtain the, these sweetless uh, multi-object uh, spectral data so uh, we can extract this uh, uh, spectral from Object using these two data, and uh, this is the, the sky coverage of our PAA uh, uh, SPICE program. Uh, we have uh, almost 10 or more 12 uh, field of view uh, in the uh, some of our uh, uh, most of the uh, field are in NAPD field, but uh, uh, all of the, the field is covered by NAPD wide. And this is uh, an example of a program uh, feature stuff. Uh, pH uh, galaxies and uh, AGN uh, uh, content uh, with uh, deep silicate uh, absorption. So uh, we uh, finally uh, identify twenty two hundred by the uh, sterility obtained by the uh, uh, megacam uh, optical data, and uh, we uh, uh, detect uh, pH emission. Strong PAH emission from uh, almost 50 uh, galaxies of that sample. So please look at the Weyama-san's paper. And, uh, so uh, we um, um, make a, a, a fitting uh, to this uh, spectrum with uh, uh, these four uh, PAH with the Gaussian uh, uh, profile and uh, one protein. Uh, that is uh, of the parameter and which uh, measure the uh, spectroscopic data shift uh, together with this uh, flux on each uh, uh, pH emission. This is a comparison with the our uh, pH uh, uh, data shift as a, and, and uh, 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 data shift obtained by optical spectroscopy. Uh, you can see that's the clear uh, nice correlation. That so we can now we can use the pH as a data shift indicator. Uh, this is a, um, the 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 data shift of the our samples uh, with the uh, comparison of the pH uh, monotropic luminosity, and uh, these are the uh, samples obtained by Spitzer IRS. So uh, our sample is uh, unbiased, but uh, there are some bias in this uh, diagram. So uh, for the uh, uh, rare uh, bright bright galaxies. Uh, we do not have a uh, 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 natural sample because of volume limited and for the faint uh, um, high red shift galaxies uh, we also have a uh, flux limited so uh, this is our uh, limited and we also uh, we, we have uh, near infrared uh, spectroscopy but uh, it's a, uh, a comf uh, eff the computer uh, effect is too large so we use uh, the photometry uh, data obtained by NDPY uh, photometric uh, photometry pattern to um, uh, to find the stellar uh, component and uh, this is a comparison of the, the stellar uh, uh, mass as a, as a function of the uh, pH luminosity or of the uh, star formation disk and uh, this is the base sequence and we find some population which have a, a stronger our pH emission. And that is a, uh, this is what uh, we understand is that. So then I will talk about the, the correlation between the fine bread. So this region is also covered by uh, the uh, Russian and uh, uh, 
that is already uh, uh, Prism has already published the data. So this is the, the image of the carry 9 micron uh, uh, 100, 160 and a super uh, optical data. So uh, that's, um, a carry is very small, cheap compared to the uh, large and uh, high price uh, ratio. But uh, 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 thanks to the, the shorter wavelengths, uh, we have a sharp uh, uh, PSS. So, so the, uh, if we can uh, estimate the extrapolation rate using the, not the far infrared emission, but the, the medium emission, uh, we can uh, do the same science with uh, some kind of cheaper uh, test. <coughs> so, uh, this is the uh, uh, partial uh, monochromatic uh, luminosity as a function of the PAH uh, 7.7 uh, luminosity uh, by the PC program. So you can see a uh, pretty uh, good correlation between the data. And uh, the discoloration it uses the, the fitted, uh, the flux of the nine uh, micro pH features, but we also find that the, uh, the correlation uh, between the fine thread and the uh, peak uh, luminosity at 7.7 micro has a better uh, <coughs> relation, uh, correlation. So that, that might be because that's the, the, our uh, pH model is too simple to fit that the, the complicated uh, PA, uh, PAH emission that around uh, 7 microns, or uh, that uh, includes also the, the uh, photodust control. Uh, uh, so um, uh, that is uh, the reason why uh, the projection is better uh, to use the uh, peak luminosity. <coughs> and uh, so uh, yeah, uh, we have uh, two bands, so uh, the average in two bands, uh, we also have a data validation. So, and uh, this is the, the final uh, uh, result uh, the PAR, so five rate and uh, uh, PAH emissions. Uh, and uh, using that one, uh, we can derive the uh, five rate uh, uh, total error uh, luminosity. And uh, this is the uh, uh, result uh, using the photophotonic, uh, sorry, uh, SED fitting technique to derive the 8 micron uh, uh, luminosity. And uh, this is our result. Uh, we uh, uh, derive the uh, PAH luminosity uh, with the spectroscopy. So uh, you can see that the, so the, the previous uh, result uh, shows the strong uh, PAH deficiency at the high luminosity or high the uh, component, but uh, our result doesn't uh, show such a, a strong uh, um, uh, pH uh, deficient. Uh, we have not, uh, I'm not sure that's the, uh, that is caused by the, uh, because of the high, high luminosity or uh, that it uh, goes high in a high uh, the activity may change or not. So uh, I'm not sure, but this is our uh, result. So how many times? <laughs> No time? Uh, no time. No time. <laughs> so uh, I just uh, show you this. We are now constructing the speaker uh, program and uh, we will have a uh, uh, larger, larger pacha and we will have uh, a large uh, uh, spectral, uh, sorry, uh, wavelength coverage. Uh, in a medium flight, we will have a low resolution wide field of view camera and uh, uh, we will have our uh, spectroscope capability in the mid and fine thread wavelengths, and uh, we will have a very good uh, uh, sensitivity. And uh, we, so now we are uh, thinking about to make a blind uh, spectroscopic survey at the mid and fine wavelengths in the uh, coverage with this one, and then uh, find the, the, the P, uh, galaxy, uh, the pH uh, AGM. And uh, we, this is the spectroscope survey. So we know uh, redshift, we know that the, the AGM uh, star formation uh, ratio, and uh, we know that the luminosity. So uh, we can make uh, an unbiased, uh, a fair sample, uh, uh, get sample. And then uh, we will make a pointed uh, spectroscope for our uh, uh, follow up to identify the, uh, uh, the property of the galaxy. So, we will uh, make uh, the spectroscopic survey using a uh, speaker uh, low resolution uh, spectrometer and uh, find the uh, number of 
uh, p h and a g m galaxies and with this basic parameter that shifts the luminosity, AGM surface ratio, uh, we can uh, make such a uh, cosmic history of the uh, AGM star luminosity density profile or uh, we can make uh, uh, the, the luminosity function of the, sorry, uh, the, 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 the ratio shift is the, the star formation of the AGM as a function of the shift and we can make a, a, a uniformly sample galaxy sample and then make a spectroscopy and uh, uh, hope we can uh, investigate a lot of uh, physical property of the galaxies of the Z equal 1, 2, uh, 3, uh, where the uh, cosmic uh, star formation is and the uh, AGM activity is our bit. So, thanks a lot. Because the, the deficiency happens of just above 11 or 11.5, which maybe you see it. Also, for spicy, the pH should be very strong for spectroscopy. So there will be a sensitivity. Uh, so you say that we uh, just only pick up uh, the pH, and uh, there are lots of. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 that is great uh, because uh, um, our sensitivity is limited. So, as in, uh, you uh, show that plot uh, high Z with a low uh, luminosity galaxy, we, we don't see. It. So, that, that, that is one possibility. Another, way, another possibility could be the way the calculating the infraluminosity. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it, it probably depends on the Yes, the template, right? yes, no. yes, exactly. Uh, we use in the actual spectrum, uh, spectrum, but uh, the something you can see is x axis, x axis, not the one. Uh, what? X axis, x axis, x axis. Uh, yeah. He calculated ah, yes, 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 oh. uh, uh, yes, 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 yeah, so, uh, so, you, so you use with the Herschel data to capture. So, my sample is a, a spire 200 micron selective yeah. galaxy, but yours are just a pass from the Yes, yes. So yes. Most of my sample is not, doesn't have a strong, just a normal star forming galaxy, right. which have a normal path, which is similar. So, yeah. so, 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 this is just only for the uh, 100 and uh, 160 micro data. Point. And that one is actually 8 micro deficit, not actually part of the signal. Uh, the wire uh, exists. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have you looked at the uh, uh, density? 20 micro radiation density from Korea. Um, but I don't know if it's Oh, oh it's yes, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I got it. I have not 